the reason we're talking about some of these things. This is the Will Clayton Church of Christ. This is September 27, 2020. Evening message for Sunday. Understand that God enables you to teach. Understand God and God enables you to teach. Enable means to give the authority and to give the support or the help. So God gives you authority to teach. That's a big one. And the support. You can tell you don't have it when your lessons are incorrect. Not because people are just telling you, but people can show you by the text your lessons are incorrect. Some people want to build up one issue higher than the other and lower another issue. Some people want to make certain aspects of life, whether it's politics, whether it's business, whether it's religion, whether it's family, whether it's just being in a community. They want to take one of those and make them to where nothing else matters. Religion doesn't teach nothing else matters. Henceforth, the thought is if you don't teach that if you don't work, you shouldn't eat, then your religion is useless. Because that's what God says. He says, I need you productive. I need you producing. You're designed to produce. Do you know a car that sits and is not driven? Let me tell you one of the first things. It's the weirdest thing you'll ever see. Mechanic can explain it in detail. Your tires start getting flat. When you drive, that doesn't happen because the tire isn't made to sit in one spot for more than a few hours. It, it, it's designed to drive. What happens to your vehicle? Belts start getting hard because they're not regularly turning. They're made to move and be flexible. Tires, well, they get what we call dry rot. Just sit there and rain here. It just sits and rain here. Sun here just dries. And it starts turning into little chunks on the road. Dry rot. And it'll blow out on you. You're made to function. Physically. To work. Produce. To interact with others. You're not designed to be alone. Do you know why stay at home is not working? And where mental cases are coming out? That's going to be years of mental cases, both in the church and out, you have to deal with. Because to stay inside and only see only your family is not healthy for you, physically or spiritually, because the Lord didn't make you like that. We're social creatures. We're social. We're supposed to go out. That's how he shows the example of Christianity and gets us to teach and love others. So the stay at home thing, you know, it has to end at some point. It's never going to be successful. The reason people want it, it's not that they're such party dogs that it's just, I got to go party. It's that I can't function in here. It's not that you don't love your spouse. It's not that you don't love your kids. It's not that you don't love your parents. It's not that you don't love your brothers and sisters. It's that I'm not made to only be with you. I wasn't made that way. I've got to go out. I don't function well. Just as the car is sitting flat, the spirit must be exercised. It must go out. It must exemplify itself. But whatever it is, good or bad, it has to. It's part of God's system of circulation. He lets bad flow with good. So, it's a good idea initially. But faith will be exercised. It will be exercised. You know why? Because God's not going to let you stay in the house. But I'm saying that to whoever it is. Thinks it. He's not. Because he's saying, no, nah, see, I, I got I, I to gotta show me that faith. I got to see that faith. Others got to see that faith. You need to see your faith. So I know what to do with you at the end. It's just something that doesn't work. It's not going to work. Alcoholism is up. Abuse in the home is up. Y'all hear me? Why am I drinking? I can't live like this. Weed use is off the chart. Do you know that in Denver there is so much weed? Not the kind 
that doesn't have the high effect, the kind that has the high effect. It's legal in Colorado. Very heavily legal. They tell me as I meet people from there, it's like you're going buy alcohol in the store. It's in every store. There are so many variations. The guy comes up to you and he says, I'm your bartender for today. He's got like maybe a hundred types of weed possibly. Different type, Different strength but then they've got names so when you say that name they know oh, yeah that was pretty heavy. It, it's got to spread throughout the country. It's just a matter of time because there's so much money being made. So Denver has a commercial that comes on. Don't get caught riding dirty Denver. You can put it up on the internet to validate. You know what dirty means? High off of weed. I'm not saying not not don't get caught driving drunk. Not DWI. Not DUI. Don't get caught driving dirty. Since you got weed. See, they gonna get you now. You got too much that weed and you drive around, you going to jail. They got they got see because it's just like alcohol now. You can't drive inebriated, you just can't. So the usage is up. The abuse is up. Why? Because I'm not functioning right. I want to stay in the house with you because I love you. Not as my parent. Not because I'm forced to stay in here. And vice versa with our relationship. It's not working. When you look at a city. See we teach this type of stuff. So God enables you to teach on. When you look at a city and it's so filthy. People are late. See I'm going to share something with you. I'm going to share something with you. I'm not bashing Houston. I live in Humble. You can drive through Humble anytime. You're not going to see people under the bridge. We got bridges. Man, we got all kind of bridges. Bridges on top of bridges. Yeah, what, why are you? Because the police rider turn his lights on and say, hey, come on, friend, I'll give you a ride. You can't do this. And you're gone. You, you, you don't have to go home, but you got to go and get out of here. You know? Why is it like that in Houston? Because you have a lousy mayor, and the mayor before him was lousy. And the woman before, and before, and before. They're lousy mayors. I'm just, I'm, but you're going to tell us not to go to church. I'm going to teach about this till I die. Not that the one in Umba would have told you to go to church. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying some people know how to run a city. But when you can't even handle your own city, you can't tell me nothing about Jesus. Because I'm not under your rule. I'm not under rule on the civil side, on the spiritual side. I have a different government. I have a different mayor, a different president. And that's the world I live in. So as soon as you bring up the aura of religion, okay, that's when you exit stage left. And then the righteous come in. And it, it is what it is. I don't care about just saying, I'm a Christian too. Yeah, left ear and right ear, show me. And I don't mean by works, open your mouth when I answer your question. I don't have time to watch you live. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to go straight to your walk that I don't need to see. And you're going to tell me what you are. Nasty city. Question marks about some of the tactics of the police, even in Houston, it's question mark. You got a guy going to jail because he made a raid on a house. Wrong house and shot the people up. There it is. Got his own officer shot. You can't run your city, man. No, don't say that was a police chief. You're the mayor. Turn and run your city. That's it. So you, you start to check things and you say, okay, and it's for the woman that was informed. And all of them been the same. Just, it used to really be bad, but it used to be real bad, man. Watch the news. People come up dead in Houston, just like you're seeing in Atlanta. This, Houston used to be like that. They finally got some of that down. They kill people with handcuffs on. We kill people with handcuffs on in Houston. That's not the first time. Handcuffs on in Houston. Isn't that amazing? That's old news. As far as Houston is concerned, we've been doing that in the past. So you have to bring up records to show people you don't know what you're talking about. And discredit you. And then now maybe you'll be silenced in the corner. And then the true teachers of truth can come forward and help. So you have to be doing something about issues to get a pass card. If you're doing nothing. If you don't work, you don't eat. How can you eat as a man and you're not doing your job? How can you eat as a Bible teacher? Now, I'm not talking about eating of money. I'm talking about eating of the gospel and you're not doing your job. God enables you to teach authority and support. Look at 1 Peter 4. 1 Peter 4. Verse 7. 
I'm not a hard man. I just want to teach the truth. I hold myself accountable to the same thing. I hold me accountable. I'm hard on me than any of you help me because I know what I do. They get on me all the time. About small things. Why did you answer like that? Why didn't why'd you say that like that? Yeah, I had attitude, man. Tell yourself that. People don't even know it. Sometimes you have it in your heart. Say, yeah, you yeah, have it. Your heart wasn't right on that. Because I'm letting myself know, man. You know God knew how your heart was. They don't know. But God knows. If you don't do that to yourself, you're eating. But you're feasting like Jude says. But you're spot. In the kingdom. And the law were moving. 1 Peter 4, 7. But the end of all things at hand. Be ye therefore so. That's a pretty simple text. I, I want to have a goal before I die. To make the lesson so simple. It becomes yawnable. Ugh. Oh, we knew that was coming next. And then hopefully the other people see that. And then... The subjects will flow simple when other men teach too. An example of not trying to be somebody. Speaking a certain way. Just speak. This is the text is self-explanatory. And watch unto prayer. So we should be sober. This is spiritual. But you can't be sober or spiritual and be drunk physically. Let me make sure we get this. You cannot be sober spiritually and drunk physically. But watch this. You can be sober physically and drunk spiritually. Isn't that weird? I can be sober like right now and drunk as a skunk spiritually. But there's no way I'm going to be up here knocking down the phone, knocking down Bible, uh, uh, and then be right spiritually. No, because see, that's the signal. He's, he's drunk physically, so he can't control himself. It's just, it, it can't. You can't be dressed totally inappropriate like brother Jaws did an excellent job make sure you get the Bible class this morning you can't be dressed like Cardi B singing like Cardi B and be holy that's an impossibility why are you picking on her I'm not picking on nobody I know she's not a Christian if she is don't tell nobody if you like that please we beg don't tell nobody you're saying till we see the change because man you off the chain Megan the Stallion, oh, girl, sit down somewhere. See, you know, you know, you know what's wrong with us because we like certain people, but we don't realize what they're doing to society and to us. You know, some of that nonsense you hear without a filter on, it starts getting into your heart because you know, told us that God. Evil communication, it's a communication, it corrupts your good manners or morals. See, you can't, see, you gotta always have a filter on. When that word comes across, it should displease you. If some, a bad word comes to you, and then it gets so I don't wanna hear this song, anymore. that's too much cussing. Let's turn it off. If you don't, it starts to bother you, like it disrupts you, and then you may say something stupid to your mama or daddy. You know, let's say, come here, what? See, because the song acting a fool. It don't say what in the song, but it's about a cussing. And so see, now you crack the door open and a demon weaving in there. Tell her, say what? Tell her what? Whispering in your ear. See, you start to alter. You ever wonder how a kid... Have you ever wondered how a kid can't stay away from you when they're little? They can't stay away from you. Every room you go in, the little bodies are coming. Just hug them. They're hanging on your leg. They go, baby, go in the room. We're talking. And when they get grown, you need a magnifying glass to find them. <laughs> you know why? It's not they're still in the house. It isn't that you didn't do right. I have a problem with you now as a parent. Because that's some things I like to exercise. I didn't want to go get drunk with my friends when I was five. That's why I hugged you. I want to go get drunk now with my friend because I'm 15. And I don't want to hug you. Don't ask me no question. How was your day? Oh, oh, it was good. <laughs> what? But but when it's time for something, hey mom. Oh yeah, there's a need. You even in the same room, there's a need. What need have you? I remember my daddy told me one day, you must need something. I remember he told him, boy, it bothered me. I said, oh man. 
And he said, you just don't call me when you need something. I said, yes, sir. I was bothered, bothered me for a long time. Because I was doing it, but didn't realize I was doing it. I wasn't making time. So I began to say, okay, they just need to call and talk. Call and talk. Call and talk. Why, what are you talking about, Steve? Because the time is to be sober. To be a good teacher, you must be sober. Watch and pray. So we can't do that if we function. It's like, you, it's like a three-wheel car. You, you, you're noticeable. You're noticeable. And we can't do that. Evangelists that are not authorized, they're just up there, Bible teachers, Elders and deacons, women who teach, if they're not authorized by God, that means He's authorized, He's selected you. He knows you're going to go bad at some point, but if you're not authorized, then it's going to show so poorly. If you're authorized, it may be concealed because now you're authorized. Acts 20 and 28, the Holy Ghost had made you overseer, but the support's not coming from God. So you say things that are not right. You know, authorize you. You, you. you walk right as far as the eye can see. But then you can't say so. so the support's not there. Support team is not with you. Which is God. The Father, the Holy Spirit, and the Son. Jesus Christ. So he says that uh, gives us some instruction. Above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. Verse 8. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. That's one. So you got to have love. Fervent love. A bubbling love. A festering love. It just wants to love. Use hospitality one to another without grudge. Sometimes people say, I don't like people in my house. I just don't like, I just don't like a lot of saints in my house. See, they ain't going to be specific. But they keep their family all up in there all the time. All kind of uncles that drink act crazy. People just got out of jail. My nephew just got out of jail Thursday. He come, we're going to have a party. But saints, I don't like a lot of saints. My, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You got everybody else up in there. Pulling out bottles. Lighting up funny cigarettes. I don't like a lot of saints. They don't do nothing but talk about you. And these don't. They talking about you. They talk. Just act holy around for a minute. They're talking about, yeah, you know, you know, you can't say nothing around her. because You can't say nothing around him because they ain't holy. You think they're with you. Just like the guy says, when his money got low, that's an old school song, his friends disappeared. Nobody wants you when you're down in that. That's an old song. That's an old and some of us in here. Yeah. Tell you. Are you right? See, because so run, run thin and watch them disappear. They will. Tell you, we know what we're talking about. We've been there, done that in the world. We've seen it. Verse 10, as every man had received the gift, that would be the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, which brings entrance into the kingdom, eternal life, consumed into one beautiful packaged gift. Even so, minister the same one to other. They're like, you receive, so you give the gift away. The opportunity to be a saint and an opportunity to grow to others. He says, even so, minister the same one to another, as good stewards, be accountable. God can trust you with it. And of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, that be any person, that's not just male or female, let him speak as the oracles of God. The oracles are the words of God. Like as if God gave you a book like this one and you read all of that. That's how we have to teach. Where's well, the oracle that says a man can run the church? Or the elders can run the church. I know the Bible says if a man does not know how to handle his own household, how he know how to handle the church. But it's not talking about running it. It's talking about a servant. The analogy is, God says, I put you, the male, fully over that house. Fully. You don't have to ask nobody. Nothing. There's no joint leadership. It's you. Everybody else, the Bible says, the wife says, subordinate means less than right. Not mean less in value, less in rank. Sometimes an assistant manager is better than a manager can ever dream about being. Sometimes, and especially in government facilities, you'll find out the assistant is the one everybody go to. Not to know, not the, the head person don't know what. I don't know. Ask Louise. Ask Bob. He don't know nothing. 
He's only got a few tasks he do. He makes phone calls to some bigger people. But the functioning of it, he'll tell you, if you follow Louise, I quit. Because she runs this way. He'll let you know. So just because less in rank doesn't mean you're not valuable. This means the rank is not there. God's not, God is like the owner. The owner's not going to come for the assistant. He's going to come in, where's Johnny? Susan, I don't want to talk to Susan, I want to talk to Johnny. Where is he at? Or oh, where she's at? You know, whatever. That's the one I put in control. I don't want the system. When you reach him, tell him, call me. Tell him I came here looking for him. <laughs> I mean, it's a trouble. It wasn't it. That's a problem. So what it means is I put you over the house, man. So if you can conduct that right, when you come to something you're not over, because there's a king and you're not a lord, you ought to know how to conduct what I've put in your control. And what is that you make sure only my words taught. That's pretty simple, Mr. Man of the House. Pretty simple, right? You make sure no one's doing the work that they're not supposed to because I give each the ability and I don't support certain people in certain tasks. And one of the signals to the all-male so-called rule is if you don't know what you're doing, I'm not with you. Authorized but not supported. No undergirding. So, that's why he says in James, not many be masters. James chapter 3. Because he looks at you differently. You know, okay, now, you know you're a guy. You're over a house. You know, whether you a position that a person can do single like an evangelist, then you got a family. If you're single, you really ought to be able to handle your business. You know why? Because there's nobody you have to worry about validating you. In the sense of in a household, you may be living a house by yourself. Now, the report of how you were around others, that will come as validation. He says that uh, you speak to oracles, and if, if any man, if any man, if any man minister, that would be men and women, let him do it as of the ability which God gives. When you see him that word, you have to understand, we have a generic for him also. When we speak, I can say to this whole room, not with women in it, I can say, every man needs to do his own work and let him do it according to God. I'm talking about the women too. It's a generic term. The Greek has a generic. Same generic. It's not a specific. It's not like aner, which means only males. It's not like. So he says, him do it as the ability which God gives. So what ability does, does God give the woman the ability to be an elder? Nope. Does he give the woman the ability to be a deacon? Nope. How about the man? No. So, she may be doing it, and we know one thing, okay, she's not authorized. And if she does it illegally, she won't get the support. That's the problem. Won't get the support. That God and all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praised and remain forever and ever. Amen. See, the joy is that if we do it right, then they'll say, why are you doing that way? Because God says so. He gets the glory. What does the glory mean? The light shined on God. It shined on God. Glory, if you can pick, if you can put it in a nutshell, it means to, just like they say, oh boy, she walked down a red carpet. It was glorious. But see, the light was on. They shine the light on. Not on the heart, it's on her. Or him as they walk down a red carpet to get the water, shine the light on. So they said, why are you doing this way? Because God said so. Who's he? Shine the light. There he is. Shine the light. Show him the Bible. There he is. That's him. The Father of Jesus Christ. That's what glory means. It don't mean pat God on the back and God go, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But give me mine. No, that's no, no. That's not. He knows who he is without us. He made us. So that's the idea. So I hope we can understand that. Now let's get some more and then we'll wrap it up here. Now, saints must study to show God has approved of them. They being correct in the statement will not be made ashamed. This is so simple. Second Timothy 2. Simplify the message that all may understand. Simplify it. You don't have to be somebody. Just teach. See, when you try to be something, you want to be something. You're coming in your own name. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No man that warrant entangled himself with the affairs of this life. We got to go to work. We got to eat. We got to buy stuff. We got to take children to school. We got to have jobs. Pertinent jobs that supply the nation with strength. Bus drivers are critical. Some little legs walk on that bus and now they're leading the nation. Or they build some, or they're on rocket side. The little legs at the first walk on the bus. What the bus driver run over? Okay, man, you gotta know what you're doing. 
I get people that say, that's important. The teacher is important. The policemen to make sure that they're not doing crookedness along the route, warning them so they can be that somebody. All the jobs are important. All the jobs are important. The religious understanding to make sure the individual does not think bad and then lose themselves and hurt themselves or someone else. All important. He says, but the affairs of this life, the word is don't get entangled in it. What is that talking about? Is that worth looking up? You better believe it. Entangled. Because sometimes we get, we get uh, confused on this. All of us sometimes will have this problem. If you get entangled, or you entangle yourself with the fast, entangled, which will be pretty basically the same through most of the word entangled, to entwine. That is involved with. So now I could mean both. So you can have the right one look up and say some things you don't have to get involved with. If you're a policeman, you do not have to be on the vice squad. You don't have to be on that when you tasting and smelling dope and all that. You know, they may tell you taste this. You know, talk about I don't want to put my hand in the cocaine. <laughs> so he's a cop. Blow his brain out and take his dope. You gotta act like the part. They're having a party. Don't touch. If you don't touch, look, ask Brother Gibson, he'll tell you. He's not in the vice squad, but he know. If you don't touch a woman, you might get away with all like to get high on my own supply. All right, we're going to let you make it. But you don't drink it? Okay. What you like to do? They're looking for a woman, a dude, or a child. I'm telling you. Now, you don't touch one of them three at that party, you won't make it home. <laughs> They're going to kill you. They'll never find your body. You know, he's a cop. She's a cop. You got to sin. You better, don't let these people lie. They sinning. They sin. That's why a lot of them can't hold marriages together. Undercover, man. You need please, man. You one of the children God selected. You like it. You're gonna die lost, but you have a purpose. You, you have a purpose. All, a lot of rulers die lost. They did good jobs physically, but they didn't turn the law. So he used them to rule. No big deal. You think Pharaoh went to heaven? Just because he picked Joseph, Pharaoh worshiped a false god. They just pick Joseph. You don't go to heaven just because you like Joseph. Joseph is not Jesus. And you can't just like Jesus. You have to love him and obey him. It's important, brethren, to you know, we got to understand because we make these same silly mistakes every day we wake up, some of us. And we don't realize we are Jezebel sometimes. We are Ahab. We the person. And we don't realize because we're not ruling a kingdom or nothing. We're not married to a king, but we're doing it. And so the idea is that you don't get intertwined into the fastest life. Well, you, you can be a policeman at certain tasks you can't do. You got some people in the CIA do some dirt, man. You can't do that and be no saint. <laughs> when they tell you go through that, you got people come interview you. And like, they'll tell you sometimes. Some people tell you. Some interest will tell you. We do some stuff. You go like, well, thanks a lot, Bob. Good interview. I'm out. Let somebody else do that. Do you need them? Yeah, but he's slated for that. He likes that. He doesn't like God anyway. That's some great leaders that go, well, I'm not big on religion. Great leaders. Great in the community. No value spiritually. That's fine. That's fine. So, what does he tell us here as we dig into this meat of the lesson? He's letting us know you cannot be a soldier in two different armies, brethren. Can. Why? That he may please him who had chosen him to be a soul. So what army you in? I please the one that you're already in. And if any man strive for the masteries, he tells us, yet he is not count except he strive lawfully. You know what that word deals with? Lists with an S. There's a list of things that you have to be to be in God's army. You have to work with those. If you were in God's army and you were, as we said, going to arrest a man in a neighborhood, you wouldn't walk through the neighborhood and start kicking open any door, pulling out young girls, taking them and raping them in the backyard, and then while the other guys are arresting. See that? See, see, you would not do that. So in God's army, you'd be like that. You would go only for the target. 
and only anything in the way of the target. And you would follow the rules. Wait, he's got his hands up. Don't shoot him. Put your gun down. And you get arguing with the captain. He would say, take his gun from him and knock him out. And you go get him for me. Because see, everything's balanced. You go by the list. We can't do this. We can't do that. See, few can function like that in man-made arms because they do crooked stuff. Except he strived off according to the list. The husbandman that labored, listen what this deals with. So the, 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 people, the teacher enabled by God, he understands I'm focused on one arm. See, when people point out Daniel, let me tell you what Daniel did. Daniel was smooth. Daniel followed the laws of the Chaldeans. The laws of the Babylonians. If the law of the Babylonians was if you kill somebody, they're going to hang you, then you got harm. That's it. That's the law, man. When the law shifts to, you know, well, we go before the God, the golden image, and we pray on the four, every fourth hour, I'm not doing that. Man, you can throw me to the lines. See, you, you don't have a lot of Daniels. You know that in any government, including sweet America. Because they wouldn't do, they would not. No, see, Daniel is not going to do anything crooked to promote anything good. See, so you, you got to be careful talking about Daniel. You don't compare, you definitely can't compare a denominational person to Daniel. No, nah, that's no denomination. This Nebuchadnezzar is not Daniel. Daniel's Daniel. A saint can be like Daniel. Not a Gentile. Not a, a, a crooked saint. No. See, so Daniel would, if Daniel's in government, and you say, well, you know, if you pass this law, I'll pass your law. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. No. Nah. And then the law just don't get passed. It's not Daniel's fault. I'm not going to promote your trash. See, Daniel as a leader would not go, no, nah, you know, no, nah, we're not going to pay for your abortion. See, as a leader, that's not, we're not going to pay for your abortion. Mm -mm. If you're dying and it's something where the doctor says, if we don't abort this baby, you'll die. We understand those are births that cannot live. In a sense, they cannot live. I've told people this before. They can look it up all day. A baby will not live in a fallopian tube. If it gets stuck the tube doesn't stretch like the belly. They're going to die. Somebody's got to give up the ghost. So that's different. You just because you don't want the baby? No. Even if you were raped? No. Well, you you had a baby. Then I hurt that baby. We're going to put you in jail. And we're going to take that baby and put it for adoption if you don't want it. But you're not going to kill the baby. When a woman says, see, and why am I talking about this? Because a gospel teacher is supposed to know how to do what I'm doing. That doesn't make me special. He's authorized me and he's given me the ability. If I answer this wrong, then you'll know he's not qualified. Listen, when a woman says this is my body, it is. But now what's in you, baby? You can tell her just like that. Now what's in you, sugar? What's in you is a being God let you, the bowl, carry. You the cup. And you touch that baby, going to throw you in jail. And you, you're not going to have no babies in jail. I'll tell you that. And you can kiss that life goodbye. So you leave the baby alone until that baby. Well, this, see, that's been a bit, that's for intelligence, that's why I say you got people who, who lead the country so ignorant. You don't know that those are two different souls. You are not to be criticized religiously. You're to be criticized as an ignorant human. Because when the baby come up, is that the mama or is that the baby? Now mess up and answer it wrong. We're going to put you in the house where they eat pudding all day and paint pictures. So, is that the same person? No. Then good. So, while it's in the stomach, it's not the same person. That's not your choice. The demons who started that should have been thrown in jail. The newest baptized saint could have helped them with that. Pass card? Never. I don't care if you never even spit G-O-D out your mouth. You're not getting no pass card. You're a vile beast. That's not that girl. That's another being in you. That's how we understand it. Because God says, you got to be able to teach that. You don't have to go to no school. You should know how to teach that from coming to church. That's how we develop teachers. Teachers are developing a church, not a school. School is like a wild harlot on the street. She'll do what she wants. She can have babies all day. But she's wild, unbridled, uncontrolled. Nobody's watching her. But the government? You don't see the government stop, literally just stop prostitution, ask Las Vegas. They don't. 
government not going to stop a school from teaching incorrect about religion? <laughs> it's not. No, you don't know. You need to leave that in the church house. You can do what you want, but you're going to get your benefit from the church house. And so he says, uh, the husbandman that labored must be first partaker of the fruit. This isn't talking about salvation. See, as a laborer, you must taste the fruit. The vineyard owner wants to know, is it a good season? Is this section as succulent as the other? You have to taste it. You can't go, I don't like grapes. Well, then you need to get another jar. Go handle the horses I got up there. Get up. You got to love grapes and no grapes. And love the smell. Love the bean. Love the leaves. Love the dirt. Oh, this is rich sauce. You got to know. And you must taste first. We all know what you think about it. Do you eat the grapes? I'm not big on grapes. Get out of here. Get out of here. Lousy vineyard worker. So this means that the teacher, well, male or female, must consume the lesson. So we shouldn't hear about you teaching something else in another area. Same thing you teach here, you should be teaching now. All we need is wrong report. And then we call you and we say, y'all, what's wrong, son? What's wrong, sister? You went to do a ladies' day retreat. You said, what? What? Was that true? And then pull out the record and click. Ah, this is you, isn't it? See? That's ridiculous, bro. So, verse... Uh, Number seven, he says, consider what I say. And the Lord give the understanding in all things. They said, look at what I say. He'll give you understanding in everything you need to know. Let's drop down. Look what he says. Verse 11. It is a faithful saying, for if we believe, for if we be dead, forgive me, with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things put in remembrance, the brethren charging them of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to subverting of the hearer. So you got some discussion you can have that really entangle with the world. Do you know why you have to guard a debate you have to watch debates. Even when asked and you think it can help, you have to watch. Here's why you got to watch debate. Because they, the information shared by the Arab teacher can subvert or turn them so down. The hearers that once accepted truth. People always say, you know, we can go to have a debate, you know, we, and we baptized them one day. Yeah, how many saints did you lose though? You don't even know. Because they didn't get unbaptized. So you have to be cautious. In the, you, you, you don't want to promote some hidden nonsense you know, over here in left field. Some clown got a few stragglers, maybe thousands of followers. You don't want to expose that. Tell them, go, go do your own debate with somebody and propagate your lies. Don't help people with their lies. Because he says, listen to what he says again. Listen to what he says. Come, let me say something. This debate form, that all come from schools. I'm sorry, you have to question, is this necessary? Do you know how unbridled it is for you to just preach the gospel? Just preach the gospel. Just preach. Somebody says, well, what do you guys teach? Maybe you should say, no, 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 no. If you want to know what we teach, then I'll talk to you personally. If not, then don't listen to your boy. See where it leads you to. You don't owe them that. Listen to what the text says. He says, of these things, put them in remembrance. Did you see him say, have a debate? Do you see Paul having a debate? See, there's a reason you have a debate. And you have to be cautious with it. Because if, if you're not directly helping people be saved, you're wasting your time with that debate. You're wasting your time. You're going to subvert those who already know the truth. Look at the text. Charging them before the Lord, before the Lord. That is be the message of the saints. That they strive not about words to no profit. What profit is it going to be for us to have a debate about how did the priest conduct their priestly duties? Who do that? Who does that? It's ridiculous. You have those types of debates floating around. But to subverting of the hearer, the hearer gets subverted. 
the listener gets flipped up. You already got one group believing it. They will. But what here? So the saints will get subverted. That's the only one that hasn't gotten subverted. Turned upside down. Study to show thyself approved of God. This is how you do it. A work that you not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. What do you do with the other story? But shun profane and vain babbling. For they will increase unto more ungodly. They grow like a tree. To more foolishness. Vain bad. Profane. Stuff that's just outlandish. Jesus was black. Foolishness like that. Yeah. Somebody may look and say, well, how you know what color he is? I'll tell you what, I guarantee you one thing, you'll never find out what color Jesus was. So why would we put him in it? Because all we can say is we know one thing, he was a Jew. That's it. That's it. And God made him look so much like a Jew, Isaiah said, you to walk right by. Do you know if everybody looks one way and you look different, how easy is that to spot you? Everybody looks one way and you're different. Who's that guy? That's why Isaiah said, nah, it was nothing pretty about it. Nothing attract, nothing that would draw you. Just a plain old guy. See, God knows how to make you so plain. It's just you blend right in. So I'm sorry. Uh, it, the lie has to stop. See, that's a subverse to here is it's foolishness. It's not worth talking about. There's no validation. He says, and there were is that a canker of whom is Hominus and Philetus? They eat like cancer. Who's concerned the truth have erred? Saying the resurrection is past already. We got a group that says that. Does he say, go and debate them? What does he say? What does he say about these guys? They overthrow the faith of some. He knows they do. But what did he say? Shun what they say. Go back up, verse. Go back up, brother. Verse 16. Shun what they say. Shun what they say. Vain babblings. Profane. And guess the example he used? People that say the resurrection path. So what I do? Shun it. Hey, the resurrection path. What I talked about? No, I'm shunning that. See you later, friend. No. I'm going to say, yeah, but I'm, I, I talk to you about it privately, but I'm not giving you no platform. Why? Because you're going to subvert yours. That is, it's going to eat them up like cancer. So why don't I just go giving people cancer tools? Here's a cancer tool. Eat up. Here's a cancer tool. Eat it up. That's ridiculous, brethren. This is too easy. He says, verse 19, nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Paul said, don't worry about it. having this here. How does it stand sure? Your debate? No. The Lord knows the end. You're not going to do nothing. The Lord knows people. And let everyone in the name of the name of Christ depart from iniquity. That's it. There are carnal and spiritual teachers in the church. Look at 2 Timothy 2.20. Look at verse 20. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood, of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. What's the chances of you cooking a good pot of stew in a wooden bowl on top of your stove. What's the chances? Zero. But what's the chance of you putting a nice fresh salad, a fruit salad in a wooden bowl? Beautiful. You'll eat right out of it. So we have nice wooden bowls. Y'all in here cook. Y'all know about my wife. So we got different spoons. There's this wooden spoon there. You don't put no wooden spoon in no barbecue pit. They just nice wooden spoon. It's for tossing salad. For your the spoon burn. It's wood. It doesn't work in fire. Some teachers are wood. When you put it in a fire, it's meltdown. Plastic. You don't turn barbecue over with plastic spoons. Put it in a fire. Hey, the coals need moving. Give me that plastic spoon. All right. Watch out. And watch it because if it's plastic, chemicals is roll up your hand. You don't know what's going to happen. Be cautious. It's ridiculous. So he says, this is how it is in the Lord's house. Verse 21, if a man therefore purge himself from the purge himself from what? The things that are not valuable, the wood that's mentioned here. You cannot use wood or something made of clay for a specific task. You can't. Purge yourself from these to be a vessel unto honor. What would be a vessel of honor? Gold and silver. God always talks about us as gold and silver. Gold. Sometimes he mentions us as iron. Some can can be used to tap up stuff or to support stuff that's needed. Sanctify the meat for the master's use and prepare 
of the everyday world. So, it's, it's, it, so the master has a certain spoon, a certain bowl, you know. So, okay, I want to use this, you know. I learned the hard way that coffee type cups lined with wax don't hold coffee. So I got here for cold beverage. So I got one one day, I think I was in the military, I pulled out a cup of coffee. I'm looking around at the white stuff all in there. It was getting hot. This cup's getting hotter than usual. It wasn't styrofoam. I said, oh, it's wax. And then I clicked. This is not for hot coffee. So you can just put wax in and out. It keeps the paper from getting wet. So I was going to use that for coffee. I need styrofoam now, see? Uh, I didn't realize. I learned the hard way. So you got to understand, it's not acceptable for me, the master, to use it. It's for cold beverages only. got to understand, brethren, if you're a teacher, you may not be acceptable for the master to use. How will you know? If you're not authorized, and if you're not supported. See how he has to enable you, that's what the word means. Some men study and are not able to come to the understanding of the truth. So, someone says, you know, I have five degrees. You still don't know what you're talking about. Let's prove it. 2 Timothy 3. Here's the text. This know that in the last time, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient of parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Hate good people. Trady, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God. Having a form of God, but not a power there from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers. Of. So see, these types of male teachers, they lead women out the house. Because it's silly, you know, reading books, you know. They're not happy being married. I don't have to be in a single Christian one. I'm reading but Ooh, this book is so passionate. Ooh, girl, if I had a man like that, I would throw away my virginity. And then here he comes. Here comes the creep from hell looking like a saint. Oh, such a, such a, I just love that dress you wore. Ooh, child, that devil. And before you know it, you're in his bed. That's the kind he said. He looked like he holy, but he not. God can't enable. If he just listen to his messages, you'll see. Did y'all hear what he just said? Did y'all hear that? That's not in the Bible. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. Lord have mercy. He says, verse 7, Ever learning and never, never, never able. They're not empowered by God. They're never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Isn't that amazing? God got all kinds of degrees. He's trying to tell us how to tithe. He can't do it. Saints, if you don't get nothing else, listen. God enables you. He authorizes you. And he enables you to teach. If you see a brother cannot develop leaders. It doesn't matter the size of the congregation. If God looks at his audience, that's all, I'm going to see some people. I'm going to see some people just hanging out. And they're going to come. They're going to come. It never feels like how hard the size is. It doesn't matter. And then you put them to work. You keep in church. Just like you want somebody to get baptized. Keep on nudging at them. You know what? I remember one time somebody said that somebody made them. Nobody make you do nothing. <laughs> what it is is you dropped a ball while you was doing it. That's what happened. And you saw God wasn't enabling you. And that's your fault. And that's where it's going to stay, right there. That's how it is, brother. If somebody hold a gun on you, somebody put out a gap, put a clip in there. Like, Fool, you're going to be a dick. I'm going to bust a cap and you're going to do that. <laughs> that's how you made somebody, son. That's stupid. See, that's what we're talking about, brother. Watch Satan. His tongue is slithery. And he knows how to lie. You see how to watch it. You how to watch it. So we understand they're never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. The truthful part of what they keep reading after 15 to 20 years of schooling, several doctorates in different areas, and he still can't teach. He can't develop leadership. 
We don't have anyone qualified to be an elder. And he's always got a class for leadership training. At some point, you got to go, Bob, are you think it might be you? That's the problem. <laughs> Why don't you let somebody else teach the class? You know what? It's sad, though, but you know what I'll tell you? Just like we said, we were talking about, and I mentioned several times the last few weeks, somebody can stop you from going to heaven. You better read the book because Jesus said they can stop. And you know what they got? They got the knowledge key. He said you have the key of knowledge, but you won't open the door and you block it. You're not getting into heaven with him. You'll go straight to hell. And it should. The Lord said nothing will keep me from loving you. The love of Christ. Of Christ. Love of Christ. Love of Christ. Not love of you. Love of Christ. The spirit of people can stop you from loving Jesus. That's a little foolishness they teach. Nonsense teaching. Abstract statements. Stuff about life versus stuff about God. That's the word. Nevertheless, finally, the teacher must study so God can bring to remembrance the things they need. Must study. 1 Timothy 3, and we're done. 1 Timothy 3. 1 Timothy 3. Verse number 2. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given a hospitality, and I love that last, apt, apt, to teach, able. And who would enable him? God. So if he says he's studying, he still know what he's talking about. Something wrong. Something wrong. Verse 8. Deacons too. Likewise must the deacons be grave. Not double tongued. Not giving to much wine. Not greedy or filthy lucre. Holding the mystery of faith in a pure conscience. Verse 10. And let these first be proved. Then let them use the office of deacon being found blameless. He's able to hold the mystery. And watch what else. He knows the mystery of the faith. And he lives it. We got the kind of people here. We got them. Oh yeah, I go to battle with these brothers. Anybody say, no, nah, I'm going to ask, what scripture? What did they violate? I know we got them here. Live it and hold it. Live it and hold it. That's how it is. You got to do both. You can't live it. In the sense of before the eyes of men and then not be able to explain it. I don't know what I'm doing. I just love Jesus. <laughs> you know, you need to sit down somewhere. Get a Coke and be quiet, baby. You don't know what you're telling me. I just love Jesus. You don't know, you know explain. You know, but why are we coming to church? Because Jesus ain't coming to church. You know, come on, man. He's got explanations on why. What does it do for you? Somebody, what do you do, baby? Just trust the Lord. Come to church. You know, something wrong with you, man. You don't think as people talk like that? Keep listening. Keep listening as you go among the saints. Can't explain nothing. See, when a man questions stuff too much, you got one that's motivated. No, I just want to know. I just want to know to keep me motivated. You know, I know Jesus said it, but you know, you know, you know, when the law say cast your net, he told him to where to cast it. He didn't just say, keep dipping it, sons. Keep dipping it. He said, okay, cast your net. So Peter says, okay, Lord, you know, we've been here all night, but never let the your word. I'm going to do it. He didn't just keep dipping it. See, I, why you want me to put it? Where, where does it go? Where does it go? Is it because I'm casting it now? You know, what do we do? There's an instruction here. Children, have you any meat? Bring yours and put on my coals. Instructions. I got some cooking over here. Don't go start another fire. Come over here with me. Instru we have to instruct, brethren. If you can't, all you got to do is study. If you say, I'm studying, I can't get it. Get with a partner. Partner up with another saint. Some men are... We're done. Some men are scared for a woman to tell them something. You know some men are scared. Do you understand this scripture? Don't tell nobody I ask you, sister. Yeah, there's some brothers like that in the church. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know some brothers scared for their wife to pray. For them. I'm talking about Pray. Everybody you know, say, I, I will pray. Wait. <laughs> God help us. Hey, you know we all got to grow. I got to grow. You got to grow. We got to grow. But at some point you got to see when you stump and not growing. God bless you. If you're here, you're not a member of church. All you got to do is get baptized. What do you need to know? Jesus, Son of God. He died his buried third day rose again. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus said, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. Mark 16, 16. When Peter preaches the very first message, that's why I love it. 
first man. Oh, you can knock down so much false stuff. First message that I preach. And he says, it's for you, this is for your children, and all that are far, even as many as a lot of God's God. The day Jesus come, whatever time he come, if it's anybody on the earth talking about him, they should be preaching what I'm fixing to say. Peter said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sins, Acts 2.30. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and unto your children and unto all that are fall, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And many other words did he testify and encourage them. Save yourself, which means they're all lost, from this unto all which is perverted generation. Then they that gladly receive his word were baptized. The same day about 3,000 souls were added unto them. They continued steadfast in the apostles' doctrine and the breaking of bread and in prayers. And the Lord added to the church they that should be saved. Acts 2 for yourself. The fellowship. I love to leave it last. To walk in our light is Christ in light. You know, we tell children all the time if Billy jumps off a mountain, will you jump off a mountain? No. We need to tell grown saints that. You know, man, I got out there with them, man. We got to drink it before you know we was on our way to the club. So you just, you follow them, huh? So if a guy tells you, you go jump off a cliff, Mr. Thomas, you do it. So he's a big guy, not. Nah. Then I go take him back to when mama used to teach him. What's the matter with you, man? I just kind of caught up in the moment. You lost your mind. You better come up with a better excuse than that. Man, you're just a sinner. Nobody want no man like that. Get your life together, man. Oh, have mercy. Nevertheless, God is merciful if we seek mercy. Actually, baby, the eunuch wants to get baptized. It isn't enough. Warning and getting. It's two different things. He sees the water. He doesn't know what to do. Now what will we do? If Philip don't know what to do, he dies lost. Philip says, if you believe in all your heart, you may. So before I do anything, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Those are the steps in the Bible. No man constructed them. They were already done before any of the gospel left Jerusalem's port. So nobody put that together. That's not a church of Christ doctrine. Any brother lay claim to having started that is on his way to hell. He's coming in his own name. That's in the book. You don't see anybody. If you look at all the baptisms. You can look at each baptism and say. What are we doing okay, now over here? He's talking about. What's holding him up? So what was holding him up? Okay when he confessed. What happened next? Did he teach anymore? Oh he baptized. So that's, okay so okay, that's what we need to do. Got to make sure that we're here. He may confess for you finish. I saw a sister get up before I, before I gave the invitation. That sister stood up. I knew she was ready to get baptized. But I just kept on preaching. I said, God bless you. I finished because there might be another. One day we baptized five people. I mean, four, four of them, five. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you got to keep going. Now, now, invitation done. Now I stand. She didn't have to wait. Sit down, baby. No, let her alone. Too much organization from ignorance. Leave people alone, man. Let the Spirit of God run the thing. This is His. Nevertheless, we believe that Paul says, "By one Spirit are we all baptized into one body." That's the church, Colossians one eighteen. Well, the Jew, or Gentile, bond or free, said there's no racial thing, and have all been made to drink into one Spirit. If the pattern is just, it's just look at people. It's like, man, you know, you wasting your time talking. That's like trying to tell me the sun is made of lemons, and it's a, I can stick my cup up there and drink lemonade. You'd have a better chance. Teaching me that lie, then tell me something about the Bible I can read. My goodness, it's ridiculous, brother. It's unacceptable. And I know I'm preaching in the choir, like they say, and stay that way. Listen, Peter says it's saved. 1 Peter 3 21 and 22, the like figure, but the even baptism is also now saved us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience to our God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who's going into heaven. Angels, authorities, and powers being made subject unto him. If we believe that, God will rescue. Jesus said in Revelation 2.10, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in prison. Everybody don't go to jail. Yeah, tribulation 10 days, whatever the prison is, everybody's not in that prison. Be faithful to death, receive everlasting life. Satan's goal while you're in prison is to make you curse God. They come whisper out the cell all day. Whether it's physical or like bars of physical like a trauma. Hey, you know, if you're cussing, see, y'all was Joe White, but I'm telling you, you're cussing, come on, hook up with me. I got the key. I'm get you right up. You can ask God, I can open this gate. 
I don't know if this guy, the Lord says, oh yeah, he can. But I won't deal with you no more. If you were to ask God, can he actually open this gate and lay him out? He can. I gave him the key. Hmm. Now make that move and you regret it. See, you have to be faithful to death. You just have to tell sometimes your friends, I don't want to go to that place. Why, are you scared? Mm-hmm. Of dying in hell. There's a test people sometimes very afraid. I had a friend, and I remember I told him, I said, I'm scared of him. Because we used to do some wild stuff before I got married. I said, I'm scared of him. I tried to avoid him like the plague. Loved him, but somebody else was teaching the gospel, and I knew it. I said, okay, they got him. I'm scared of him. He even had me in a club going to hell. That's just, just the way it is. You got to know how to tell people. I can't. I can't do that with you. I'm sorry. And walk away. If you don't, you'll wish you had for the rest of your life, which is eternal in hell. God bless you. If you're here and need to be baptized, stay standing where you sit down. If you need prayer, stay standing. Acknowledge, raise your hand. If this is a message, touch a triangle. We will get someone to baptize you if you're ready. Come now together. We stand and sing heaven's invitation. And tenderly, Jesus, calling for you 